What's up? How's your car? How'd your car come out over here? Did you ever touch on it anymore? Over here. So this is South Padre Island. Yay. This is Fuzzy's car. Incomplete, of course. I think it crashed and this is the remains of it. Yeah, the breeze at the bottom of the, the ocean. Frame that is like done here and make the rest of it look crashed. <laughs> Something. I don't know. It looks so good, man. So big. It's intimidating. Can't believe you actually started this. <laughs> it looked smaller on paper. So, Darkstar, creator of South Padre Islands, <laughs> lead us on a tour. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's not a solo project by any means. Matter of fact, Fuzzy was there for the most part of it, big part of it. Me and Fuzzy kind of built. A lot of, a lot of this for the most part. Yeah, it, it definitely was pretty fun at the time, making little rooms for everything. Got tool, tool shed, with the uh, little icons looking out. I thought that was a good idea. Buzzy didn't he hated it. Hey, uh, hi. Did you uh, notice uh, Goku and Vegeta? They disappeared, I think. I don't know. They yeah. did? Oh, they're up there. I just saw uh, flew up, up and there. I couldn't see yeah. them. I wonder what's up with that. Oh well. Right here. They're not lit up or anything. Yeah, they're far up. Hell's mine. Oh wow. There you guys are. Oh yeah, um, that's something that I noticed about the new um, update. They, um, so like uh, this version mm -hmm. of Minecraft before, like if you were standing like directly below, it would have rendered this all the way up here. But it didn't. Uh, you had to fly actually all the way up here for it to show. Yeah, so it's like less lag, but now you can't see stuff that's super high. Yeah, whatever. That's a little quirk. Hmm. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. I do see that, though. I can see it from down here. Maybe it's just because yeah. we're just immediately up there. Why don't you... Why don't we see how Fuzz's treehouse is, was doing, or is doing. This was, uh... This was like Which the one? second or third thing that we built. Little, little treehouse. Which treehouse? Can't see. Oh, the one over here. Sorry. <laughs> and, uh, didn't see fly over there. Oh, I remember this place. So are we, um... We're not allowed to spam beacons, eh? Or are we? Yeah, I don't even see this thing going up. I don't see a beam yet to turn on or something. Primary power. Is... What is he going yeah, on? What does uh, this thing do? Pretty cool. How about we click jump yeah, boost? What? It's, uh, they actually gives you stuff. Do things. Yeah, I can see it says resistance, jump boost, haste, speed, strength, regeneration. It's fucking crazy. I guess it depends on how many uh, uh, no. diamonds you have underneath yeah, it or I think something. That changes the radius. I don't know. I should just look it up. <laughs> Basically, it's gonna make quests really fun. Let's see. I think you have to put like diamonds in it and you exchange for the power. Yeah. But uh yeah. It's 
pretty cool. But so dark. How did you start this thing? It was me and uh, Coltrane. We came out here to. I got to turn this fucking music down. We got, came out here to get away from everybody. We wanted to make a little island, and because it was flat and on the water, that you could build just about anything without restrictions to shit getting in the way. So the only hard part was building land, which took up about 80% of our time here. Me and Fuzzy had that shit down to a science by the end of it. So yeah, that was the big idea. And then as we started growing and more and more things kept uh, kept popping up, I thought it would be really cool if we invited people to make their own little islands. So if you were to have a map and explore it fully in this area, for the most part, everything fits on one little map. Uh, well, they they changed the maps where they're bigger now, but in the old school maps anyways, if you had one map and it was made in the center of this island, you could see literally every person's island. And there's about six islands that surround this place. Some wheat. So, uh, where is it, like, where did it start? Like, all the way over here, right? Right, where right here, by Fuzzy's Tree is. This is where it started. This is the first little piece of land. Cool. I, I remember, and, uh, um... When I first got here, this whole place was already built. Yeah, the, the little little horseshoe. It was supposed to be a horseshoe. And then, if you look at the map, it looks like a little crab. But, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see it. And then it just uh, expanded. Yep. Ended up starting to make buildings that didn't have a purpose. This first building right here with the big heart. This was probably my first official building that I made. It was supposed to be a spa. I was supposed to walk in and, you know, nice little flower in there, really, really mellow lighting. And then you go in a little spa. Plus, you kept putting animals in here. So the cat, this place was full of chickens at one point. Yeah, I remember when it was the dog pound for a little while. Yep. Yep. The hamburger house over here. Yeah, sort of how I thought I was going to do everything it was everything was going to have their own pixel art. Then I built the storage area. It was supposed to be, uh, what the hell did I call it? Joe's storage. Yeah, Joe with coffee. I thought, eh, that's clever. So we ended up, uh, uh, I ended up making everything with some kind of pixel art behind it. So we, when we made the mine, I thought the mine would be like spooky and stuff. So I put a little skull there. With the potions area, it's a big fucking bottle, so you know it's pretty easy to recognize what the purpose of that building is for. And uh, with the farm, you see both of the, the farming uh, hoes right next to the farm. So library stuff started to kind of diverge from that. The the big bank also doesn't really have any kind of pixel art behind it, but I like the hamburger place, the the burger nom nom. Yeah, I think uh, was the name of it at the end of the day. But uh, and this, the bank says bank, so the bank does say bank because I didn't think people would understand what the hell it was. I tried to make the top of it like a little clock, but uh, this was kind of like the last big thing I made, or maybe the last thing I made. Period. Here, this is a really the, cool the, part. The idea of the bank was that we would have our own little organization of people that were trustworthy and that they could store really valuable things in here back when we weren't all just flying around with everything. So for each door was designated to a person. They all had their own locks. So only that person could open the door. So we have people that are pretty obvious like me and Fuzz and you. Then we have Nodderly. That was the next person. Cap was also there. Coltrane. And then uh, AJ... Uh, Fun Explosions, which was the original uh, server owner, and uh, that was pretty cool whenever he got on. Like, one time uh, I saw him. Yeah. Hey, why don't you put your name on here? And he ended up doing that, and that was really cool. <laughs> Inside, as you see, we had uh, letters designated for every layer of sort of chess. So we have D, J, F, uh, N, C, and uh, what's that, S. 
So everyone was supposed to have their own little area where they could put their own stuff, but it just became a clusterfuck. Everyone yeah. pretty much put whatever the hell they felt like. Yeah, some of them are empty. Some of them are just full of uh, enchanted picks, like this one. Yeah, yeah. Cat basically gave you or Fuzzy or someone so much XP that we ended up crafting really nice magic stuff. And just threw it in here. So. Yeah, now we could uh, use the anvils to uh, like combine them, so we could have like every uh, enchantment all on one. Yeah, item. yeah. Like you, can, you can make some ridiculous shit now. But yeah, it's surrounded by bedrock. Cap helped with that. Cap helped with a lot of things on the island. Yeah, we, in terms we, of supplies. It's a hundred percent griefer proof. Yeah, it's one hundred percent surrounded by bedrock. So you can't get in. You can break the outside and fuck it up, make it not look so pretty, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, these are our little... The idea was to have it like a zoo, like a petting zoo, but the animals kept getting out, so we had up, ended up putting this dirt around it so they would stay the fuck in their little pens. So it didn't look like a petting zoo anymore. It looks more like a place where we throw animals to this pit to die. Yeah. Put yeah, there's one time we literally stuffed this place. We actually have pictures of it on the on the, the server thread. We had this place full of chickens and then immediately killed it. And the idea was to take a picture of us with pieces of yeah. you know chicken and feathers all over the place. Yeah, just all the dead corpses lying everywhere. This was Fuzzy's first pixel art, I think. That he did on the island. There's a little cow. Yeah. Found a little cow online. Fuzzy, Fuzzy wanted to do something. It's like, you gotta do that cow. And he did it. And it looked beautiful. Fuzzy's cow. So, um, I think uh, we should let's go over here and check out the islands. Or, no, this building. We haven't seen this one yet. This is something that uh, that uh, I didn't know what to do with. It kind of ran out of steam at one point. I was like, I don't really know what to do. So it's really simple. It's a big square with some light architectural touches here and there. The lava. Really wanted to have lava flowing. And uh, yeah, wasn't exactly what I wanted, but it looks pretty cool. Yeah, the it's fountains are uh, my favorite part. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, outside is all done from, uh, I did a stupid design because it looked so square that it was fucking driving me crazy. And Cap said, how about we put lava in between stuff? And then I said, how about some smokestacks? And basically everything you see on the outside, Cap did. That looks so cool though, the smokestacks. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks really nice. Cap did a pretty good job. So this is uh, Fuzzy's Island. He put snowman here because I guess he wanted a nice nice snowy area. What the hell? It's like something happened up here. Oh, never mind. I didn't load in. But yeah, Cappy's, I mean, uh, Fuzzy's place was the first island. And uh, it was kind of small. I thought it was huge at first. But it's, now it's now, huge. Now it's kind of like the smallest one. So he went up. <laughs> he used this, he went vertical. Yeah, and all these cute little signs in here that he wrote up. I just base jumped on the top. Oh wow, I didn't even make it all the way down. Hey Fuzz, are you making a maze? Yep, I started anyway. Looks so cool. Like just uh, check it out. Like, you know, Derek, come up here and just look out like the window, looking at. Like the islands looks pretty mm -hmm. badass. Like doing a uh, doing this glass maze and looking out, and seeing the scenery. Oh, I didn't even know about this little maze. Yeah, this yeah. Uh, this is so cool. He has a little secret area down here. Fuzzy always loved his his underground shit, and he has his own little underground farm. That he hid with this little lever. What? 
Oh, yeah, look at it. And I'll open for you. Oh, okay. Wow. That's sweet. So, I don't know what all is going on in here, but there should be a farm, right? Yeah. Wow, this is sweet. So fuzzy. I don't know what this is. Oh. Nice, very nice. No way. Experimenting in the secret lab. Nice. I've never, like, I've tried, but I've never gotten anything working. These music blocks. Like, everything has to be uh, to a fixed tempo. Well, like, you can only do certain songs in certain tempos and, like, with certain notes. So I just gave up. Yeah, go online and see something like, here's a complete song, and it fucking is crazy. Yeah, like, every song still has to be, like, rearranged. Be, like, in a small, you know, like, few notes. Like, a small range yeah. of notes. Pretty crazy. But there's, like, a program that lets you just, uh, import, like, a file. That you can just, like, switch around and turn into, like, uh, like a chart of note blocks. Hmm. Yeah. Well, let's go to your island now. Yeah, mine's, uh, pretty close. Yeah. It should show up, uh, show up in two seconds. Here it is. So it's just a whole bunch of trees. Just a giant forest. You know, using forest trees, and in the back there's a whole bunch of forest trees that I put together and made this giant... It doesn't look like a giant tree right now, it just looks like a, a log. But it's a uh, elevator using minecarts. And uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. So uh, this goes all the way up top to a treehouse. And yeah, that's about it. It's just a really dense, really tall forest with a treehouse inside. Well, at the very top. There's nothing really interesting in there. Just classic, you know, farms and just rooms. Nothing. Interiors are always the hardest thing to do. But once you get something, it doesn't have to be super complicated. You can really, really make a a setting pop yeah it's an elevator i'm still going up it is it is quite massive this probably goes all the way to the top oh it does well, here you are is this as bad as high as you can go with the, the sky limit and all that uh yeah we're at 230 and it's uh 256 pretty sure pretty sure that's here like the trees go up to the top so it's just a little bit uh, below the trees because I wanted it to still look kind of cool. Yeah, it looks good. I like this idea. This is something that everyone kind of thinks of whenever they make, do Minecraft stuff. It's like, man, make a treehouse because it kind of captures that child and everybody. It's like yeah. everyone always wanted a treehouse when they were little. But uh, there's no like, there's no biome. Well, like the the jungle biome is sweet, but the it's not like huge, you know. <laughs> Like, if there was a jungle biome that was as high as these trees, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, and yeah, if it got real fucking crazy. Yeah, like a real, like, Tarzan jungle, you know? Like, some crazy shit like that. So, uh, we're... Fucking... So you guys ended up making these balloons. These balloons are pretty cool. Because they're simple, and, uh, you can just do a whole bunch of them. Yeah, these are awesome. Eventually, uh, we'll populate the whole, like, you know what I mean? Like, we'll, we'll put them everywhere. I want to put a few yeah. near spawn. Yeah. Like, it might be cooler to have them at spawn. So, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, a whole shitload of them. Yeah. Pretty sweet, though. So where, uh, where are the other islands? Like, yours is really far. 
Yeah, mine doesn't have anything on it. But there's the island over here. Uh, I forgot whose friend this was. Might have been fuzzy. I don't know. But there's some guy that never really came on very much, and he made a. Here it is. <laughs> this isn't the guy I was talking about, but this is uh, one of the later editions. He came in and said, Do you want a little island? And I was like, Sure. Oh, it's Marundis? Whoever that, that guy is. The guy who made the cool quest. Wizard. Cool, man. I think the uh, the other one's a little bit farther. Uh oh, where'd Fuzzy go? Oh, Fuzz. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Bad things. Yay, we found it. So this is this is Fuzzy's buddy. Never really wanted any help, and what he made is uh something. So it's unique, and he also has like this. Uh, did you dig this out? Oh God, Jason, your mic, your mic. What? Does it sound like crap? What happened? Sound like shit? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, that was loud. What happened? Did, uh, did my mic- Your microphone went all kinds of staticky. Oh, wow. That, well, that's cool. Like, really, really, really loud. I'm sorry. Right. But uh, anyways, let's. You got Fuzzy's buddy, right? That was your buddy, right? Yeah. Never came back on. Are you uh, recording something too? Me? Yeah. No, I'm rendering out a, a game that I got them playing. Cool, man. So, is There's... your. Uh, did you want to show off your island? Oh, I don't know where you are. I'm back at the. Other guy's island. Okay, I yeah, I see you. I'm just gonna fly back to the main islands. Okay. I see uh see Fuzzy there. Alright, well, let's meet up at Fuzzy's treehouse. Nice. This is really close. It's fun though how like uh it's like each island's just far enough that you have to actually take a boat ride. Yeah. Yep, I didn't want anyone to be like, eh, I don't like the way that looks. I gotta fucking stare at that. So there's space so you can have your own little island. Alright, there's Jason, where are you, Fuzz? Come on! <laughs> no, he's, uh, he's almost here, I think. Yep, I'm here. Sweet. So, uh, yeah, do you want to fly over to your place? Uh, let's have mine for last. Actually, right now it was good at night, so let's, let's go ahead and go over there. Uh, the whole idea was for it to look a specific way at night, and it, it looks great at night, but it doesn't look so good in the morning. And it's over this direction. Way past the bank. Oh, I'm gonna take out a map for my inventory. I usually made docks that pointed in the direction of where shit was, so I have a dock that's pointed at my island from the main little island or big island. 
mine is definitely definitely doesn't have anything going on. It's really just one feature. Caps Island is over here too. Go ahead and see that on the way back. He made a weird tower thing. Right here I am. <sighs> Uh oh, I think I uh, might have lost you. I don't think. No, I didn't. I didn't lose you. I can. That's weird. So when the world's not uh, like loaded, I can still see you just floating there. Yeah, the distance for people is pretty far. So uh, this is the entrance. This little pool right here. This is the entrance from uh, the underground area, but that's not important. What is important is this. Now, fall in, and with my textures, it looked really nice, but, you know, these are default textures. They'll, they'll look fine. Looks but great the, with uh, these textures. It looks, it's supposed to be really moody in here. And uh, the light filtering through the little skylights, it's just... Actually, I think it might... The torches outside might be interfering with it. Yeah. Yeah, it used to be really dark. Yeah, might be. Oops. Yeah, even these ones over here. Uh, no, I, I think it's good now. Oh yeah, check it out. It looks perfect. Some of these assholes. I have new sound effects now for killing zombies. I mean, Belton. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty good sound effects. It sounds really crazy. Yeah, it's like a little more like paper something. Hey, do you have a uh, carrot on a stick? Uh, some. It's. It's in the it's in the transportation like where the rails are. I'm gonna do that too right now. On pig the wheat. Hey yeah uh, dark you have a you have a carrot on a stick? So now we can totally have uh, pig races. Yeah, pig races are now officially a thing. Oops. I don't... So did, did I predict that or something? With that quest? <laughs> Pretty much. It's a little baby pig. What happened there? Alright, let's go back into the pit of hell. And they're going to be finishing this. Only way I know how. Come on, Fuzzy, Jason. Let's go back in where the pigs are. Now, as we close the roof in, I'd like to thank you for being with us today on this amazing adventure, South Padre Island. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, check it out. The pig's totally moving. Closing this video out. Last light. Fuzzy, say goodbye. Hello. Jason. Bye-bye. Goodbye.